Welcome back. We begin with the standardization of NAOH. Okay? So, when it is about standardization, it's the process of determination of the exact normality. Alright? Now, how to standardize this? Obviously, it has to be titrated against the solution whose concentration is exactly known. So, the solution or a substance whose concentration is exactly known before you actually carry out the experiment is called as a primary standard. Okay, what is it called as? Primary standard. So, here in this experiment, the primary standard that we are using is succinic acid. Okay, it is what? Succinic acid. Now, succinic acid, the molecular weight of which is 118 grams. Okay, but then, because it has two replaceable H plus ions. Okay, because succinic acid, the formula is CH2COOH, CH2COOH. Okay, so these are the two replaceable H plus ions I'm talking about. And therefore, when we consider its equivalent weight, it comes out to be 59. So we are going to prepare 0.1 normal of succinic acid. So to prepare 0.1 normal of succinic acid, we are going to take 0.59 grams in 100 ml because 100 ml is sufficient for the titration process. All right. So we begin with step number one, and that is prepare 0.1 normal. I write down succinic acid. How to prepare? 0.59 grams. Dissolve in 100 cm of distilled water. Okay, so we get this such an acid. Now what we do is the next point is we are going to titrate against the buried solution. Okay, and that buried solution is NaOH. Buried solution is NaOH. Now, exact normality of which we don't know. And that is our aim to standardize, to find out exact normality of NaOH. So, the next point is in the particle flux, we are going to prepare out 25 cm of 0 0.1 normal succinic acid. To this, you are going to add 2 to 3 drops of phenolphthalein indicator. Now, my dear friends, remember. The, the indicators are generally pH sensitive. So phenolphthalein indicator in an acidic medium does not show any color change. So phenolphthalein itself is colorless. So obviously the solution will remain colorless. Now the next step is we are going to titrate. Obviously against what the buried solution is NaOH. So what happens is phenolphthalein indicator in a basic medium is going to show a pink coloration. So therefore, the color change will be colorless to pink. Okay, colorless to pink. And you need to record the reading. Carry out this procedure for three times. Out of the three, at least two readings has to be constant, exactly same, and that is being noted as CBR. And then by making use of the CBR value, okay, we can calculate the exact normality of NMH. So this is the standardization procedure whereby first of all is we are going to prepare 0.1 normal succinic acid. Next is the buried solution is filled with NMH, supplied NMH, whose exact normality has to be determined. We need to prepare out 25 cm cube of the succinic acid solution. Okay, in a particle class, add around 2 or 3 drops of phenolphthalein indicator. Even after the addition of the indicator, the solution remains colorless. Okay, because it's pH sensitive in the acidic medium, it's no change at all. 
Okay, it is going to be showing its sensitivity only in the basic media. So as we start adding any version of the buret, what will happen is a color change takes place, and that is colorless to pink. And where it is going to be pink, so obviously that is what our leading is. And then finally, we find out the CDR, and that is the way we are going to estimate or exactly find out the concentration of NMH. I hope you have understood the standardization process. Yes, my dear friends, we now start with the practical demonstration. So, first of all, it's we are going to prepare the primary standard. The primary standard is succinic acid, so 0.59 grams of succinic acid has to be dissolved in what? 100 cm cube. So here we go. First of all, is try to dissolve it in minimum quantity. Don't directly add the entire 100 cm cube into the beaker. So take some small quantity of water and make sure that each and every particle of succinic acid is being transferred into the beaker. So you can see now, this wash glass is absolutely clear, you can check it out. Now, we will add around say, approximately around 40 to 50 ml of water and we will dissolve it. Succinic acid is a water soluble acid, so it will get dissolved very easily. So here it is my dear friends. It's dissolved. Now we are going to transfer this into a standard measuring class. This is 100 cm standard measuring class. So we transfer it very slowly. We give some washings to this beaker to ensure the complete transfer of succinic acid. And now we will be doing the final dilution. Hold the sun measuring class to your eye level. Okay, so we are getting it exactly on the mark. If at all it is not possible for you to do it, so you can make use of a dropper or a pipette for the final marking. And now we just want to make sure that the solution becomes absolutely homogeneous. So this is it, my dear friends. This is the succinic acid preparation. Okay, better. I hope you have understood after this. This is also called as a primary standard. Okay, so how much we have prepared? Yes, it's 0.1 gram. Okay, now this has to be titrated against for NMH. This is the supplied NMH whose exact normality has to be determined. So that is being filled in the bullet up to the zero mark. Now, the next step, what I'll be doing is we're going to use a very conical flask. We are going to prepare out. 25 cm of the succinic acid solution which we have prepared right now. So this is exact 25 level.
into this. We are now going to add two, three drops of phenolphthalein indicator. Now, as I said, it's not going to be sensitive in the arsenic medium, so it's going to remain white. Now, we start with the titration against NOH. Color change, you know it very well, it has to be white too. Wait. So we start up. Drop by drop. It will be yellow. Even after shaking, the pink color should sustain. That will be our correct reading. So very slowly, drop by drop, we are going to make sure that the addition takes place and the conical flask has to be continuously stirred so that you can see the pink color do develop at the point of contact but then on shaking the conical flask it disappears. So we need to continue till the permanent pink color. Yes, now my friends, we have done the demonstration how to carry out the titration. Now, the final part is we go into the calculations. For calculations, the simplest calculation is we are using the formula N1 V1 is equal to N2 V2. So, let us consider this as succinic acid. So, this will be NaOH. Okay? Succinic acid, we have prepared, it's a primary standard. So, that was 0.1. Okay? How much we prepared it out? 25 CMP. So that is equal to N2, of course, that we need to determine, and that's the reason we have carried out this experiment. Into V2 means our reading. Okay, the reading was 25.2, the buret reading. Okay, 25.2. So N2 will be equal to 0.1 into 25 divided by 25.2 so that comes out to be 2.5 divided by 25.2 so that is equal to 0 0.0999 so my dear friends this is the exact normality that we are getting and this is what my dear friends standardization is all about to exactly determine the normality of element. So I hope you have understood this, a very simple formula. L1 V1 equal to N2 V2. Succinic acid and LOH. Succinic acid, we have prepared it. It's a binary standard, exact normality we know. It's 0.1. 25 ml was a succinic acid, but prepared it out in the conical class. The N2, the normality of the NMH, it has to be determined. And this is the period of date, that is 25.2. We substitute this in the equation, and as a result of which, the exact normality that we get is 0 0.099. And this is where you pay the experiment all about standardization of NOH, that is to determine the exact normality of NOH. I hope you have understood this very well.